know, seeing the evacuations, you know, as you know, my mother lives in Calabash, so she's actually yes. planning to evacuate later today. She's sad that her drapes and things, and she doesn't want to board anything up, but I was like, just, just go ahead and go. And I'm, and I'm really happy that it's just my mom that has to worry about that, and us here in Northwest Missouri, we are not seeing conditions oh. like that. Oh, no, and I completely get where you're coming from, Dan, being from North Carolina. I'm from Florida, so I've had my fair share yeah. of being in hurricanes. <laughs> we had our experience with Irma last year, but the time is 541, of course. It's not just Florence that's the only storm out in the Atlantic. We have three systems out in the Atlantic. Right now, we also have Isaac and Helene. The good news is those storms are not going to be a threat to the U.S. There is another tropical wave out in the Gulf of Mexico that could bring some trouble to our friends in the Texas coast, Dane. But for our friends on the East Coast, this is, of course, going to be the top weather story for the whole nation as we go into the second part of the work week. Of course, Hurricane Florence right now is a Category 4 storm with winds packing out 140 miles per hour. That's kind of equivalent to an EF3 tornado on the enhanced Fujita scale that measures tornado winds when after it passes through when you see the observed damage. Of course, this is based on the Hurricane Saffir Simpson scale that only measures hurricane winds. So over the next several days, this storm is expected to make landfall along the North Carolina coast as a category four hurricane with winds of 130 miles per hour. Now this is only factoring in the winds. This is not factoring in the storm surge that could be brought in by the heavy waves and the surf at, with those high winds as it's moving into the Carolina coast. And of course, once it moves inland, it's going to cause potential life threatening inland flooding with the heavy rains. I've been hearing about 20 inches of rain at most for the inland areas in North Carolina. So this is something we're going to be watching very closely as we go into the rest of the work week. For us here in Northwest Missouri and Northeast Kansas, we're waking up on a very quiet note this morning. Right now, our KQ2 Tower camera is showing some clear skies. Currently, it is also cool out there as we're waking up to temperatures this morning in St. Joseph at 56 degrees. Dew point is at 50. So with the temperature and dew point meeting up, it is making the humidity at 100%. Winds are calm, so these are the right ingredients for maybe a little bit of mist or patchy fog to form as we go towards sunrise. I haven't gotten any reports of that yet this morning, but I'll keep you updated if that changes. Right now, pressure is holding steady at 30.06 inches. All of us this morning are waking up on a cool note with temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s across northwest Missouri and northeast Kansas. But you kind of noticing the wind barbs that is signifying the winds coming in from the south and that's going to help start warming up our temperatures as we go into our Tuesday. As we go into the rest of our Tuesday morning, I'm expecting temperatures to stay in the upper 50s to lower 60s as you're heading out to work and school with a few clouds. But I'm expecting the sunshine to peek through and temperatures will start warming up into the lower 80s as we go into the afternoon. I'm going for a high of 82 degrees today, which is near average where we should be for September 11th. And then we're going to slowly start going back up to above average temperatures heading into the later part of the work week and into the weekend. We're also dealing with clear skies this morning on our KK2 Tri-State 4 camera out in Maryville. Just a few thin clouds this morning being picked up on our KQ2 high resolution satellite and radar and that's all we're seeing across the central US. All we're getting is just high pressure that's building in. High pressure goes in a clockwise direction. So as it moves east where we're going to get the southerly wind flow over the next several days and we're just going to stay quiet and calm for us here in northwest Missouri and northeast Kansas. Of course, I'll be tracking those warmer temperatures as we go into the rest of the work week. So keep it tuned to KQ2. Mike Colton and I will keep you updated on that. 82 degrees today for your high with lots of sunshine with those southerly winds picking up. One more cool night for us tonight with 58 degrees for your overnight low and Dane, we're just going to be staying quiet and warming up as we go into the rest of the work week into the weekend. I am thinking the humidity is going to start picking up as we go into the weekend, which I know you love upper 80s near 90 degrees. So it's going to feel like that heading into Friday and Saturday. So summer is not really done with us just yet. <laughs> we're hanging on to the last bits of sunshine and I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you, Vanessa. We're going to turn things over to Adam.